Hi and welcome. I'm going to keep this short and simple. Let me show you just how easy it is to create professional looking web graphics with Photoshop once you've learned the essential design skills. And don't be scared, it's really not that difficult, which is exactly why we've created these tutorial videos to help people like you create all sorts of cool and professional looking web graphics to use on any of your sites. Okay, so what we're gonna do is show you just how quick and easy it is to create a professional looking header graphic just like the one you see below on this sales page. Now I've basically started by creating a blank image, 980 by 250 pixels with a transparent background. Now let's recreate that image and show just how quick and easy it is but remember, these tutorial videos will show you exactly how to do all of this. So don't worry if you don't follow everything I do in this video. This is just to illustrate how quick and easy it is to create professional graphics once you've got the right training on the Photoshop Essentials. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the rectangle drawing tool, which is down here. Make sure that's selected. Make sure you don't have anything selected on stroke. And all we need to do is create a box that's bigger than our image itself. It doesn't matter the uh, size, just make sure it covers everything. And now we just click or double click on the layer itself and we go for gradient overlay. And let's click on the gradients available and scroll down and choose the one I want. Uh, I'm going to go for this last one down here click on OK. Now at the moment it goes from dark to light and I actually prefer it light to dark so I'm going to click on the reverse to up turn it so it's actually from light to dark. Then if it's, that's not dark enough or not light enough I can play with the scale to get it to where I want. I'm going to go with 120 and click on OK. Okay so now I'm going to add an overlay effect so I'm just going to open up my folder where I've got some overlays, uh, specifically wavy lines which is the one I'm going to use and I'm going to move that down out of the way a bit so that I can get to the layer and I just drag and drop that layer onto the image itself and I can move it around to get where I'm happy with it and maybe I want to actually stretch this out a bit so let's pull it out so I've got less waves going on. Now the other thing here is I probably want this uh, slightly lighter so that it doesn't interfere with my other images uh, on the header so I'm going to change the opacity uh, let's get it down a bit to around 55% you can see that's actually now a bit lighter. Now I'm going to create a reflection, so I'm going to run an action script. Now I've only got one here to keep things simple, but all I need to do is click on start and then choose run and it'll open up the page or the, the box for that. Then I'm just going to grab the item, the object that I want to run that on. And I'm going to move it down here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to grab the particular layer that I want to run the action on, drop it into there, choose render, hit play, it runs, I now have my object with my reflection. And now all we need to do is pop that reflected object into my header. So let's move it down here so I can see what I'm doing. Out of the way, click the three layers that are the reflected object itself, drag it and drop it, and then I can just move it around to wherever I want it. Let's say over here on the left. There we go. Now I'm going to grab a style for the text that we're going to add to this particular image. So again, I'm going to go to my folder. There are a bunch of these again in the WP Web Graphics Pack in the design snippets. So it's style 5 that I've got here. And again, let's move it down here so I can see what I'm doing. And all I need to do is grab the layers that I want, uh, which is pretty much all of them, except the background. And I'm going to drag those over here onto my main image. Let's get rid of that and move this to where I want. Let's center it up, make sure I've got it fitting just right and move it around a little bit more, center it just right. Now I wanna change the red background here. So I'm gonna choose the layer that that is. It's rectangle two and double click. And what I'll do is I'll just pick the color from the surround for our object so that it matches that. Now obviously we also need to change the color for the text. So let's go to that and double click and we just need to go to gradient overlay again and pick a suitable gradient overlay. Let's go for something a bit darker. Let's go with that one, click on OK and click on OK. Okay, so we've got a bit of a gap over here on the right. So we're gonna add another object. So let's go back to my folder and what have I got? I've got a butterfly here, I think, in that one. Yep, let's open that up. Let's drag it down here so again I can see what I'm doing. Let's drag and drop it onto my image and I want to move it around to get it where I want. Now I do also want to resize that, it's a bit big. So let's knock it down to let's say 50% and 50% to keep the, oops, 
that's 50% and 50% to keep the aspect ratio correct and let's move it around again to make sure it is exactly where I want it is a bit loud though and the colors don't exactly match what we want so I'm going to go with Control U to bring up hue and saturation and let's move this over here so you can see the effect and I'm just going to warp that all the way down to minus 180 so it makes it the same color basically as our background on the image now it does fit in nicely but it probably blends a bit too much into the background color so let's add a bit of a glow so that it just stands out a bit and Again, I'm going to move this around so you can see what I'm doing. If I just change the size of the glow to make it a bit bigger, I can make that quite a lot bigger. But I probably want something like around 10. And click on OK. We can now see that it stands out a bit better. And there's one more little effect I'm going to add. Let's just pull up a new layer. Oops. Add a new layer. And let's add a little bit of a sparkle using one of the brushes. Let's make a sparkle up here on the right and control T lets me just turn that around a bit so it's at a different angle there we go so we've now got a sparkle on the corner of our banner as well now the last thing we really need to do is just overwrite the text that we've got the default text in there with what we actually want our words on our banner to say so what I'm going to do is quickly pause the video while I actually type in the relevant bits of text so there we go, I just typed in the text that I want and we've now created a professional header graphic in under five minutes. Now we did go through that pretty quick, but don't worry, the tutorial videos are a lot calmer and easier to follow step by step to make sure you pick up every bit of the essential skills you need to create cool and professional looking graphics just like this in five minutes. Graphics that a professional designer could charge you $50 or more for. And now you can bang them out as often as you like and get exactly what you want, not what the designer thought you wanted. There's 15 videos in total and we teach you everything you need to know to be able to create all sorts of professional graphics, not just web headers. So scroll down the page and jump on board today. And in a short while, you'll be creating pro graphics like this for your own websites, as if you'd always been a Photoshop graphics expert. This is a brand new set of tutorial videos. There's no old rehashed stuff here, and this is the first time we've offered them to the public, which is why we're offering this super low introductory price. It's the cheapest we will ever offer them at. The price will be going up soon, so grab them while you can. Scroll on down to secure your Photoshop Essential tutorial videos now and I'll see you in on the inside in the private members area.